Starting on the second elevator, I decided to do something a little bit different. Beforehand, I had been using a Sharpie for marking off where I'm going to be drilling. The holes were starting to become a little bit more erratic. So I started trying this pen. This is a normal ball tip pen that actually writes pretty well on the aluminum. I'm making much smaller marks about where I'm going to drill my holes. And you can see that they're pretty dead on accurate. Um, you can see some of my other videos before the holes were half a millimeter off or so. These are looking a little bit better, so I'm going to keep doing it like this for a while and see how it works. I've drilled up the first rib, and now I'm trying to put the second rib in there so I can drill it. I marked the holes here, but I need to get the rib further in, so I've actually taken the stick. I just keep slowly pushing it in, and I marked the stick at the proper length here. So I know when I finally get all the way in, I'll know exactly where it is inside of it. A little further along now, I've been using the Clicos on the bottom holes of pre-drilled. It's kind of a base to hold up the actual aileron while I keep drilling it. Um, and leaving about every other space uh, full with the Clicos just to make sure that it kind of holds the rigidity while I keep drilling and uh, continue on with it. And uh, yeah, so here's how it's looking. Building the elevator the second time goes way faster than the first one. Uh, I think I have half the amount of hours I have into where it would have been the last time I built it. Uh, I'm starting to install the elevator hinge right now. And I'm actually using the control horn back here as a stand to keep it level when I have um, uh, measure, when I'm measuring where the hinge goes. It's going pretty well. It's incredibly easy to forget how hungry you are while working on this thing. So I ordered a pizza and I just arrived here. So I'll keep working on that while I keep drilling out the, uh, the elevator hinge. I flipped it upside down so I can go directly into it from this angle. I'm just kind of going as wide as possible and I'll slowly bring in uh, the, the spacing area. So I drill probably that hole or that hole will be the next one I drill then slowly keep going together until that particular part's complete. All right, four slices and the rest of the holes drilled. And I am ready to now take this apart and um, dimple dye it and take all the burrs off of it. And when those are done, then I'll go ahead and paint it and then uh, go ahead and pop these rivets. Then I'll pop it on the tail of the airplane on the other side here and then I can go in finally and um, mark each side where it needs to be with the control horn that will go into there and make the uh, control horn final assembly attached to it. Thanks for watching.